Hello and welcome to our brand new Active TV, bringing you on-demand workouts you can do anytime at, at your home. I'm Kevin, I'm a fitness instructor here at Active, I hope you're all doing well. I'm just going to run you through uh, just a little circuit exercise today. We're going to run through six different exercises for three different rounds, okay? We're doing 45 seconds per exercise and we're resting for 15 exercise and we'll just have about a minute break in between each round, okay? Now before we start, I, I need to say that if at any time throughout your workout you're feeling unwell or you, you, or you feel any injuries, any sharp pains in your joints, anything like that, just, uh, uh, just stop there and there and just um, if you feel well enough to, to go back into it later on, if you feel like you're feeling okay again, then join back in when, when, you, when you can, okay? And we're having plenty of rest stops as well, so during the rest, take on some fluid as well, all right? So we're just going through a warm up first, okay? That's all I want you to do now is just run on the spot. Okay, don't worry about lifting your knees up too high just, just for now. We're just going to raise the heart rate. Okay, get the arms involved as well. All right, we're just going to spend a few minutes warming the body up. Okay, we're going to warm the muscles up. We're going to lubricate the joints. And let's enjoy our workout, okay? All right, so when I say I just want you to do six high knees, okay? So you're going to bring the knees up like that, all right? So six high knees, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's go back into a... Just a jog on the spot, okay? Let's keep on moving. Again, if you need to have a break, have a break. Okay, let's go into some butt kicks. Get your ankle to your bum. Put your hands on your bum. Tap your ankle to your hands. Okay, let's keep on going. Keep on breathing, guys. And uh, let's get back into a jog, all right? Okay, so when I say, Lift them knees up six more times. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good stuff, all right. Okay, so stand on the spot. Next thing I want you to do, I want you to lunge forward. So about the lunge so much this, um, in the warm up. I just want you to have a nice stretch of the hip flexors, okay? So I'm just gonna show you from the side angle. Try not to be at 90 degrees for this stretch. I just want you to open up the hips, open up the angle of the hips, all right? And just have a nice stretch. Stay there for a few seconds, stay as upright as you can. And then stand up, take your time standing up if you need to. And then let's go down for the other side. We're just gonna spend a couple of seconds on each leg. Stand up again, let's go back down, open up the hip flexors. And let's keep on warming up. Okay, let's get back into that jog. Let's go. How are you feeling? Hope you're doing okay. Stay with me. Let's get through this warm up. Okay then. Now, I want you to get back in, down into that lunge position. This time, both hands on the inside of your foot, okay? Lift that back knee off the floor, okay? I uh, just want you to pulse your hips, okay? Let's really warm these hip flexors up, all right? Pulse the hips. Are you feeling? Are you feeling that stretch, guys? Okay, let's rest that back knee down. I want you to take the hand closest to your foot now, okay? And I want you to rotate inwards, okay? Follow your hand with your eyes, okay? We'll do 10, that's two. That's three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we need to stand up now, guys, because we're gonna swap legs, okay? Get down into that lunge, both hands on the inside of your foot. Lift that back knee off the floor, and let's pulse your hips again, guys. We're only talking about a couple of inches movement of the, of the hips, guys. It's not a lot. It's a bit of a pulse, nice and smooth. Try not to do any jerky movements. Okay, rest that back knee down now, guys. Take your inside hand again. Follow your hand with your eyes. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and 10. And let's get back to our feet then, guys. 
Let's go back into that jog. How are you feeling? You starting to warm up? Just gonna raise it up a little bit now, guys, okay? I'm gonna do five jumping jacks, okay? So that's a jumping jack like that, right? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. And let's get back into that jog. Okay, to warm up all the joints of our body now, guys. Okay, when I say, just give me two burpees, okay? So a burpee, hands down, kick them legs back, and back up. If you need to step back, guys, and step back, that's fine, okay? Get back into that jog. Give me two burpees, let's go. Down, give me a little jump at the top as well, guys. Down, and up, let's go. Let's get back into that jog. Okay, kick your feet out, arm in the air. Keep those hips still now, okay? So all I want you to do, lean over to the side, as far as you can, keeping those hips stable, okay? Back up, other side. Let's do that 10 times, okay? That's two. That's three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, good stuff. That's the work. Uh, that's the warm up finished. Okay, how are you feeling? You feeling good? Feeling ready to go? Take your time. Have a sip. Okay, have a sip. It's very important to keep your hydration levels up. Okay. So the first round, now I've got a selection of uh, equipment here, okay? You can use whatever you have in your house, guys, okay? I'll, I'll give you alternatives that you can use, okay? Um, what I'll do per round, we're doing six exercises, like I said, but I'll run through the six exercises first before we get started so we all know what we're doing, okay? So, the first exercise of the first round, I've got a barbell. If you've got a barbell, great, guys. If not, you could equally do a kettlebell, okay? Or if you've got a dumbbell, perhaps, you can use one of them as well, all right? But I'm gonna use a barbell, okay? We're gonna do an upright row, okay? So, I want a narrow grip. Put your thumbs together on the bar, just to get the distance correct. You can drop your thumbs after that, all right? And you're just gonna raise the barbell up to the upper chest. No need to go any higher than that, guys, okay? And back down. Keep the elbows high. I want a V out of your forearms, okay guys? So don't let the elbows drop. Keep them elbows high. And keep back going. That's your first exercise, okay? I'll show you from the side. On the way down, I don't want you to let that weight pull you over, okay? So stay rigid, stay upright, okay? That's your first exercise. Your second exercise is your bent over row, okay? I want you to widen the grip now, okay? So, I'll show you from the side of this one, it's a be better angle. So allow your knees to bend a little bit, and I want that position there. That's called your neutral spine, okay? So an easy way to get into that position, okay, so try not to arch the back like this, all right? So just take your shoulders back as far as you can like that, okay? Keep that position, bend your knees slightly, and just allow your body to bend over, and you'll get into that neutral spine position, okay? So you bent over row, you just pull in that barbell, into your belly button, okay? So for this, for this first round, we're just working the back muscles, okay? First, we're gonna to touch on the shoulder muscles afterwards. Okay, that's your bent over row, okay? All right? Your, your third exercise then, okay? We're just gonna put both of them exercises together, okay? We're gonna do four upright rows and four bent over rows, okay? So, we're gonna change that, remember to change the, the hand grip position, okay? So I want four, upright rows, and then four bent over rows, okay? And then just go back and forth between them two exercises for your 45 seconds, all right? Don't worry about remembering these guys, I will explain and talk you through it as we go, all right? Your fourth exercise, okay? We're gonna change, I'm gonna change my equipment now, just gonna grab some dumbbells, okay? What I want, we do some shoulder presses now, guys. I want these dumbbells in this position, for the whole time, all right? But what we're gonna do, six shoulder presses, just the right arm, okay? Then six, just with the left arm, and then six both together, okay? 
and we're just going to repeat that for your 45 seconds. All right? Then I'm going back to my barbell, but you can stick with your dumbbells if you want to. Okay? This one is your shoulder press. Okay? Now you can stay in this position if you want to, but if you are in this position, carefully don't arch your back. Okay? So what I tend to do, I'll show you from the side. I stand split stance. Okay? So that to me helps me keep that back straight and it helps me not to arch my back, all right? So you're just gonna press up and lower that barbell back to the upper chest, okay? And your last one, for those of you who know me in my regular classes, you know that I love a slider, but I don't have any sliders at the moment. Next best thing, we've got some J cloths. So I'm sure you guys have got some J cloths in your house. So that's all you do with these guys, make sure the balls of your feet, okay, are on the middle of your J-cloths, okay, or if you're lucky to have sliders, great. I'm gonna get into a straight down plank position like this, okay? And that's all I want. We're doing four mountain climbers and two floor jacks, okay? So I want one, two, three, four, one, two, all right? So one, two, three, four, one, two, okay? And that's your last exercise for the round. All right, so let's go into round one, okay? All right, so we're working your back and your, chair, um, and your shoulders with this round, okay? So let's go into our uh, first exercise then, guys. Your upright row, okay? I'm gonna try and time this as best I can, okay? I've got my little stopwatch here, okay? So 45 seconds per exercise, 15 seconds rest, okay? Try and be as regimental as you can with them timings. If you need more rest, guys, by all means, rest for as long as you can, to join back in when you can, all right? So, 45 seconds then, guys. Let's go for that upright row. Let's go then, guys. Elbows high, okay? Remember that, guys? Keep them elbows above the bar at all times, okay? Remember, make that V out of your forearms, okay? Control the weight on the way down. Don't let that weight pull you over, okay? Keep that, keep that upper body as upright as you can, all right? Let's keep on going, guys. Got another 20 seconds to go. Let's work this back. You're working your upper back with this exercise, guys. Your trapezius muscle, okay? It's like a kite-shaped muscle in the upper back. All right, so let's work this one out. Let's keep on going. Almost there, guys. Last few seconds, and we're done. Okay, 15 seconds rest then, guys, okay? Let's widen that grip. Let's go for your bent over row. Remember, retract them shoulders and bend over, keep that neutral spine, okay? Three, two, one, and let's go in, guys. Bent over rows, okay? You're taking that barbell backwards into your belly button, guys, okay? Keep that neutral spine. As you start to tire, your technique might waver a little bit, guys, okay? Don't let that happen. That's when injuries can occur. Let's keep our technique. As many reps as you can, guys. Let's keep on going. We're working your lat muscles now, guys. The muscles on the side of your back. I'm gonna try and cover your whole back now. Keep on going for another 10 seconds, guys. Let's keep on going. Keep the elbows in. Almost there, guys. Last few seconds. And we're done. Good stuff. Try and loosen up. I'm gonna keep my barbell. Now we're putting both of them exercises together. Four reps of each exercise. We're gonna start with the upright rows. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna widen that grip. Bent over row. One, two, three, four. Back to your narrow grip. Good stuff. Keep going. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excellent stuff, guys. Keep our technique. One, two, three, four. Widen that grip for your bent over rows. One, two, three, four. Almost there, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and we're done. Good stuff, guys. All right. I'm gonna grab my dumbbells now. We're doing them shoulder presses. Six reps for the right arm, six for the left, and six both together. Are we ready? Two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four.
four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Both together. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's go back to the right only. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left only. One, two, three, four, five, six. And both together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And that's your 45 there, guys. Good stuff. I'm going to grab my barbell. Stay with your dumbbells if you need to. For your barbell, shoulder press. Or your dumbbell shoulder press, okay? Split stance. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Keep on going. Keep our back straight, guys. Lengthen the arms out. Push your barbell or your dumbbells to that ceiling. Keep going, guys. Keep working. What's the time saying? You've got 20 seconds to go. Keep working. Let's work these shoulders, guys. Almost there. Last few reps, guys. Keep on going. Just under 10 seconds to go. Keep going. And we're done. Good stuff. All right, grab some J cloths so your sliders. We're doing your mountain climbers and your floor jacks. If you haven't got any guys, you could just do body weight ones instead. Okay, all right. Right, are we ready? In three, two, one, let's go. So one, two, three, four. One, two, okay? Keep that going. Maintain that straight arm plank position, okay? Try and keep your shoulders above your wrists, okay? Almost at the end of the round, guys. Keep going. 15 seconds to go. Let's keep working. Tuck in your stomach, guys. Just work your core. Don't let your back arch. Keep your hips up. Last few seconds, guys. And we're done. Good stuff. That's round one done. Have a break, guys. Have a sip. And we'll go into round two very soon. Okay? We're going to work your legs. Well, your legs mainly in the second round, okay? We'll touch on your triceps a little bit on the, on the upper arm. It's mainly going to be your legs for the next round, okay? Catch your breath. Take this opportunity to catch your breath, guys, all right? Have a sip. We've got 30 seconds left of the one minute. If you need longer, guys, by all means, all right? Try not to drink all of that. I'll need that later on. All right. First exercise, guys. I'm gonna need a kettlebell. Again, you can use one dumbbell if you want to, guys, all right? Your first exercise, I'll run through all six first again, all right? So your first exercise, kettlebell I'm using. I want five squats, okay? So down to 90 degrees, guys, and up. Keep our kettlebell in front of your chest or your dumbbell, okay? I want five squats, and then I want five overhead tricep extensions, okay? All right? And then back into the squats. That's number one, okay? For your second one, guys, I'm gonna use a barbell, but again, you can use a kettlebell if you want to. That's all I want. If you are using your barbell, guys, make sure you rest your barbell on the muscle, okay? Not your neck, okay? So take it back, all right? So I want five calf raises first, all right? So raise up, five calf, ra calf raises, lift your heels off the floor as high as you can, five of them, and then I want two forward lunges. So that's one, come back to your standing position, and then repeat on the other leg, okay? Reach as far forward as you can, guys. I'll, I'll save them, show you from the side. Reach as far forward as you can, guys, okay? So try not to do a shallow one like that, okay? You put your knee in a lot more danger that way. So open the hips out. Try and get 90 degrees at both knees, all right? 
All right, that's exercise number two. For your third and fourth one, same exercise, but we're just going to swap legs, all right? So your first kettlebell for number three, all right? Doing a curtsy lunge, all right? So your left leg is going to go diagonally behind the right, okay? And you're going to get that knee down low. Try and keep your standing knee or standing leg as upright as you can. So try not to let the knee dip that way, is what I mean, okay? So try and keep your knee up, all right? And then back up. But don't let that back knee touch the floor, guys, all right? You're just doing that. Keep your standing leg fixed, okay? All right? That's exercise number three. Exercise number four, we're just gonna swap legs, guys, all right? Okay? And then exercise number six, we're just gonna do your mountain climbers again, guys. But this time, we're doing four mountain climbers and two knee tucks. So this one, I want one, two, three, four, and then two knee tucks, okay? That's your last one for this round, okay, guys? So predom predominantly leg workout for this round, guys. We have to turn the, the triceps a little bit, okay? All right, are we ready to go? Round number two, coming up. 45 seconds, I'm gonna use the kettlebell first. Five squats and five overhead tricep extensions, okay? Are we ready? Let's go in, guys. Keep our kettlebell in front of your chest. Keep it nice and close, guys, okay? I'll show you from the side. Don't let that weight fall forward, okay? Transfer your weight to your, he uh, to your heels. Let your toes come up a little bit. Imagine there's a chair behind you and you're gonna sit back into it, okay? That's my five. And then one, two, three, four, five. Good stuff. So let's keep that going. One, two, three, four, five. And up. Keep them elbows in with this exercise, guys, all right? Take our kettlebell as far back behind your head as you can and straighten your arms on the way up. Okay. That's exercise number one done, guys. 15 seconds rest. I'm going to use a barbell for this one, guys. We're doing five calf raises, two forward lunges. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, two lunges. That's one. Tap your knee to the floor if you want, guys. Lightly. That's two. One, two, three, four, five, and two lunges. Keep that going, guys. 20 seconds gone with this one. Three, four, five, and let's lunge. Good stuff. How are you all feeling? Feeling your legs work out, guys? You've got 10 seconds to go. Four, five, five seconds to go with this one. And there we go, okay. All right, curtsy lunges next then, guys. I'm gonna grab my kettlebell. Take a step back, guys, so I don't hit the barbell. Left leg behind the right, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Left leg behind the right, and back to standing position, okay? I'm gonna try and hopefully feel your right hip work, work in your abductors now, guys. With your small glute muscles. Keep that going, same leg. 20 seconds gone. Come up to that standing position, okay? Finish the exercise off, come back up. Keep going. Keep that kettlebell close to your chest. Keep going, guys. Another 10 seconds to go. How many reps can you fit in there, 10 seconds? Let's go. Five to go. One more. Done, good. 15 seconds rest. Same exercise. Swap legs, all right? Okay, right leg behind the left. In three, two, one, let's go. Try and keep your left leg planted on the floor. And try not to let that left knee drop like I showed you earlier. Keep going, guys. 15 seconds gone. Another 30 seconds to work the muscles on your left. Out the bum, your small, small glute muscles. 
Keep going. 20 seconds to go. Almost at the end of round two, guys. We're over the halfway point. One more round to do after this. But we're not done with this one yet, guys. Let's finish it off. Five seconds. Could do one more. Done, all right. Sliders to finish off. Are we ready? We're doing four mountain climbers, two knee tucks, okay? Maintain that straight arm plank position again, guys. Are we ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two. Keep back going. Again, keep your shoulders above your wrists. Maintain that straight down plank position, guys. Kick your feet back from where they came from, all the way back. Lengthen the body up, guys. Keep going. Almost there, guys. Another 15 seconds. Give me another 15, guys, and you can have another break. 10. Five. Finish it off. And you're done. Nice work, guys. Good stuff. Have another sip. You're gonna need it. I know I do. Round three coming up. Okay. How you all feeling, guys? Still with me? Got one more round to do. Six minutes, that's all it is, guys. Six minutes. I think carry on with your work, carry on with your life by now, guys. Carry on watching TV. <laughs> Let's finish this six minutes off then guys, let's do a good job. All right, I'll show you the exercises first then guys, all right? This time, chest, okay? We're working the chest, and we're working a little bit on, on your stomach as well guys, okay? Mainly the chest, okay? So your first one, when you press up, okay? A few different variations, I'll show you from side angle as well, okay? The first one I'll show you from front angle, I want the hands, well for me, just wider than mat, but what I want, I want your elbows at 90 degrees when you're at that lowest point. So lie on the floor first, get that position right, okay? Fingers facing forward, and then just get back into position, right? So you know your hands are in the right place. Okay, so you can either do your full press ups, guys, down there, all right? Get your nose as close to the floor as you can, or you can pop your knees down. If you are popping your knees down though, guys, okay? Lift your feet up. What I want to see, if you can, try not to just dip your chest like that, all right? What I want to see, guys, is your hips going to the floor as well, okay? If you can, all right? Try that, okay? All right? That's your press-up option, okay? Second exercise, harder still. It's a press-up again, guys, but it's a close grip press-up for your triceps, all right? This is a hard one, okay, guys? It's a lot smaller muscle group. So, bring your thumbs together, okay, on the floor. Again, full if you want to. Probably easier for now, guys, to do the three-quarter press-ups, okay, with your knees on the floor. For this one, I want the elbows tucked in, all right? Brush them elbows to the side of your body, okay? Really tuck them in. Don't let them elbows flare out, okay? You're working your triceps now, guys. It is gonna be a lot harder. It's a much smaller muscle group, okay? All right? Three-quarters, or if you're strong enough, guys, do the full full position, all right? Then, next one, you're doing your barbell chest press, okay? I'm gonna use a barbell, but again, you can use dumbbells if you want to, guys, as well, all right? Your range of movement is gonna be compromised because you're on the floor, guys, but you're still gonna work the chest, okay? So rest your head on the floor, try to push your lower back to the floor as well. Get that barbell above mid-chest, okay? And you're just pushing it straight above your head. Don't let it fall backwards, guys. Not forwards either. Keep it above your mid chest. Elbows out wide. Take the elbows down to the floor so you go through as full a range as you possibly can, guys. But lightly tap the elbows to the floor. Try not to injure your elbows, guys, okay? Nice and wide with your grip, all right? That's your chest press, okay? If you are doing the chest press with your dumbbells, guys, I'll just show you the technique I want for that, okay? So your hands are gonna be in this position and you're gonna bend the elbows out like that, keeping the dumbbells parallel to the ground at all times, guys, all right? Okay, elbows nice and wide. So that's the technique I wanna see 
if you're doing it with your dumbbells guys all right okay all right that's number three guys number four a little bit more space for this one chest again this is a chest fly okay i'm going to use my dumbbells so if you were using your dumbbells for your chest press in this position what i want you to do now is bring the dumbbells in that position okay so your palms are facing each other okay and you're going to take the dumbbells out wide lightly touch the floor and back up keep a slight bend in your elbows guys the whole movement try not to bend the elbows too much okay what you can do guys to make this a little bit harder what i want you to try and do is straighten your legs out lift your feet off the floor and hold that position as you're doing your chest flies okay if you're doing this guys push your lower back into the floor don't let your lower back arch too much if you need a break just drop your feet and go back into it all right almost there guys next up we work your core this is a v-sit dumbbells again so for the v-sit i'll show you from the side angle guys sit down lean back to engage the core lift your feet up okay that's all i want you to do then hold them dumbbells nice and close all right we're doing four twists one two three four and then we're doing four punches one two three four okay and then just repeat that for the 45 seconds okay if you need to Drop your feet back down, have a rest, guys. That's completely fine. Join back in when you can, all right? Well, if you want to, guys, if you don't want to do both exercises, just choose one and stick with it, okay? And then your last one for the day, guys. Back to your sliders, finish off with the sliders. Everybody's favorite exercise, the burpee. So with this one, guys, hands down to the floor first, kick your legs back, bring them back in, and stand up, okay? Don't worry about the jump at the top, guys, because I want you to make sure your feet are on the sliders at all times, you guys, all right? So, down and back up, okay? That's your last exercise, okay? All right, are we ready? Six minutes, and we're done. We'll have a cool down at the end, all right, guys, okay? Okay, are we ready? Six minutes of hard work, guys, and then we'll have some stretches at the end. Are we ready? Press-ups first, okay? Choose your position, full press-ups, or if you want a three quarter press ups with your knees on the floor, that's fine. Are we ready? I'm gonna try the full press ups. Let's go. 45 seconds, off you're going guys, let's go. Either way guys, try and get your nose as close to the floor as you possibly can. If you're doing full press ups guys, keep your hips up, keep going. You've done 20 seconds already. Keep on breathing, guys. With a press up, breathe out on the way back up, guys, okay? 15 seconds to go. Tuck those stomach muscles in, guys. Five seconds. Done. Well done. Five to go, guys. Five to go. Have a quick sip. Close grip press up next, guys, all right? remember thumbs together keep them elbows literally brush the elbows to the side of your body guys all right okay three two one let's go tuck them in and press up if you need to go on your knees guys that's fine you're still going to work your triceps 30 seconds to go let's try a few full ones yeah Let's keep working the triceps, guys. This is a lot harder, guys. Don't worry if you're struggling with this one, guys. Your tricep is not a big muscle. We're working it out well. Keep going. Five seconds. Good. Excellent, excellent work, guys. Okay, chest press next. I'm using my barbell, but like I showed you with the technique with the dumbbells, if you're doing it with dumbbells, guys, are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Nice and wide with the grip, elbows wide. Take that barbell down to your chest. Keep your feet planted on the floor, guys. Bend your knees, nice, nice and comfortable with your legs. Keep on going. Try and breathe out 
as you push that bar to the ceiling. Almost there guys, let's keep working hard. Let me check the time. Got 20 seconds to go. Keep working. Are you sweating guys? I hope you are, because I am. Keep going. Last 10 seconds. How many you can do? That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do 10, nine, and that's your 10. Good stuff. All right, grab your dumbbells. We're doing your chest flies now, guys, all right? Lift your legs out in front to work your abs if you want to, okay? Right, in this position, three, two, one, let's go. Dumbbells out to the side and back up. Let's keep up going. Lightly tap the dumbbells together at the top. Lift your feet up if you want to, guys. Keep up going, guys. Just gonna check your time. 20 seconds gone. Push that lower back into the ground, guys. Keep going. How many seconds you got left, guys? Just under 10. Let's keep working. Are you lifting your legs up, guys? If you are, keep holding. And you're done. Well done, guys. Two exercises to go. Your V-sit, your penultimate exercise. Are we ready? Lean back. Lift your feet up. Four twists, four punches. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Try and twist as much as you can, guys. Okay? <laughs> Lengthen your arms out all the way with them punches. Okay, guys? Let's keep on going. 20 gone. Hold that position. If you need a rest, guys, that's not a problem. Try and go back into it as soon as you can. Keep working. 10 seconds to go. One more round. Done, good stuff. One more. Last one, guys, 45 seconds left. Sliders or your J-cloths, guys. Or if you haven't got any, just do normal body weight burpees, guys, okay? Are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Kick your legs back and stand up straight, okay guys? All the way back down. Put your hands to the floor first. Don't rush it. Hands to the floor first. Make sure you've got that stability. Keep going. 20 seconds to go, guys. We're done for the day. Apart from some cool down exercises, cool down stretches. 10 seconds. And we're done. Nice work, guys. All right, then. Time to cool down now, guys. Time to lower the heart rate, okay? Have a sip. Take as much time as you need now, guys, okay? Just rest. We're gonna go through some dumbbells, uh, dumbbells, some stretches on the floor, okay? We're, on, we're doing them on the floor, guys, because I want you in a more relaxed position, okay? So we're not gonna do them standing up. So I'm gonna go through my routine of exercises, guys, which covers all the muscle groups that you've worked today, all right? Okay, so your first one, guys, hamstrings on the back of your legs, okay? We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds each, all right? Right, tuck your knees in. I want you to straighten one leg out. Lift it above your leg. Just let the knee bend slightly, guys, okay? Don't lock your knee out. Hold just under your knee and pull it towards you until you feel that stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's do the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we're gonna stretch the little glutes, okay? The abductors on the side, all right? So I want you to rest one ankle on top of the opposite knee. 
We're gonna raise that foot off the floor. One, two, three. Keep resting your head, guys. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's swap legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay then guys, take your time. I want you to roll over to your front. I'm gonna stretch your quads now, guys, okay? Rest your forehead on your forearm. Hold on to your, your ankle, guys, and pull your ankle into your bum, okay? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Swap legs. I want you looking down to the floor, guys. I'll ensure you keep your neck in line with your spine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, back onto your bum. Okay, add that to stress on, guys, okay? Feet together, hold on to your ankles, tuck your feet in as close to your body as you can. I'm just trying to use your elbows to push your knees to the floor, keep your back straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, next up, all fours. Do from side angle. Suck your stomach in, okay? And I want you to arch your back up to the air. If you're struggling to get into this position, guys, imagine there's a big round ball and you're trying to make the gap for it to pass underneath you, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From there, and tuck your feet. Sit into your ankles, reach as far forward as you can with your hands. Again, look down to the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, sit up. To sit however you feel comfortable now, guys, okay? Stretch your shoulders. Arm across the body, hold underneath, and pull it across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tricep stress now, guys, okay? So fist to the shoulder and lift your elbow above your shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Swap arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good stuff. Almost there, guys. Chest stretch. The hands in your lower back, okay, guys? So in that position like that, all right? Sit into your ankles again, guys. Elbows in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, calf stretch. Press up position, one foot on top of the other foot, okay? And you're just gonna push the ankle into the floor. I'll show you from the side, guys. All right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Swap legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Last one then, guys. Two alternatives, okay? You can either, like we did in the warm-up, actually, stay in that position like that, all right? Open the hip flexors out. You can stay there if you want to, guys. Or, if you can, lift your back foot up, all right? Stay as upright as you can, though, guys, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And last stretching, guys. Swap legs. Either stay in that position there, Take your time if you're doing the other bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's it, guys. Job done. Excellent work today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to try out some more workouts, okay, guys, go to our website, active.wales. 
there's a good selection on our website that you can try out, okay guys? Or alternatively, you can go to the, your app store and download our active uh, sport and leisure app, okay? Which you can uh, browse the, the, the workers that we have on option there as well, all right? Hope you enjoy today, guys. Hope to see you soon.